the truth the girls. Hi everyone. Truth the girls. Well, I'd like to bring something to your attention. This site, which I'd never heard of before, called theblackvault.com. Basically what it comes down to is that just like there's Wikipedia for everyone online, the government has their own uh, sort of encyclopedia type thing called Intellipedia, which contains a classified documents like top secret and secret and also unclassified but sensitive and people working for the government can access these different documents depending on their level of clearance so what's interesting are the topics that are in there and this site the black vault it's run by a guy called mr greenwald and what he has done is endeavored to obtain as many of these documents from the government, like from the NSA and such, by Freedom of Information Act requests. So he's been making these requests for years, and they're sending him whatever they can from the Intellipedia. So some of the topics covered here, Area 51, Artificial Intelligence, uh, COINTELPRO is on the list, Echelon, there's a lot more, but I'm not going to mention all of them, uh, famous Freemasons. Oh, Freemason chat room. MK Ultra, remote viewing. Scientology is on the list, and UFOs. So let's take a look at what's actually in these in these entries. Is he all the documents that he received? He has posted them online. So Area Fifty One. Uh, this is the Nevada test site. What did they tell him about it? Well, really, not much. Uh, it's it's amazing. See, they 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 sent him only this silly little document. Area fifty one is a dining facility at Fort Bliss, Texas. It is utilized mainly by Second Brigade, First Armored Division. Breakfast costs two forty five. Lunch is four fifty. Like so, what? But it goes to show that whatever information they have on Area fifty one, it's all classified. So uh, clearly, they're hiding something. If all they want to tell you is the price of breakfast at the dining facility. Okay, next, COINTELPRO. They have quite a few pages on this, and they'll tell you, uh, COINTELPRO, an acronym for counterintelligence program, was a series of covert and often illegal projects conducted by the U.S. FBI aimed at investigating and disrupting dissident political organizations within the United States. Now, look, they just tell you this was an operation that took place between 1956 and 1971. I find it remarkable that you know they do mention a lot of it was illegal I mean they just admitted right there that the government was doing a bunch of illegal stuff and you know the fact they were doing this kind of operation from 57 to 71 well why would we think that they're not doing this kind of stuff now but you know it's classified echelon uh, he made a FOIA request and you know what he got nothing they just denied but there's a lot of stuff out there on Echelon. Echelon is like these, this global um, spying program where they can listen in on your communications, listen on your cell phone, whatever. Uh, this is, of course, what uh, Edward Snowden was exposing. After 27 years, reporter who exposed Echelon finds vindication in Snowden archive. Ever since legendary British investigative journalist Duncan Campbell told the world in a 1988 magazine article about Echelon, a massive automated surveillance dragnet that indiscriminately intercepted phone and internet data from communication satellites. Western intelligence officials have refused to acknowledge that it exists. So this guy, Duncan Campbell, he sounded the alarm on this way back in 1988. And uh, you can see his own website here. And, you know, this was one of those cases where he's like, look, people, this is happening. And the government just mums the word uh well crazy conspiracy theorist no such thing happening well it turns out it was happening uh global spy system echelon confirmed at last by leaked snowden files and yet you know there's tons of information on this online wikileaks anonymous these kind of places will leak this information and yet uh the government will give you nothing I mean, it's like cats out of the bag. We already know what you're doing. <laughs> you make a FOIA request and they're like, mm -hmm. sorry, that information is classified. Too late. We know. Uh, the Freemason chat room, they did give a transcript. Well, they gave a part of a transcript of 
what the Freemasons are talking about in the chat room, but they blanked out all the names. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, by the way, lasagna for dinner at ASR tomorrow. Such and such sent the sheet music, but I can only read the lyrics. I will eat an extra piece of lasagna on your behalf. Hmm, lasagna. I wonder what they really mean. If you want to know about uh, Freemasons and secret societies, the information is already out there. You can read, uh, for example, Alexandra Robbins' book, Secrets of the Tomb, Skull and Bones. Well, it's not the Freemasons, Skull and Bones, but whatever, just as an example. I mean, Skull and Bones is like one of the most secretive um, secret societies, and yet she managed to get a ton of information on it. So we live in a remarkable age because there's really so much information coming out. The government can try to keep it a secret, but too late. UFOs. He made a FOIA request. What did he get? This picture of flying saucers. What, are you telling me these are real? Is the government admitting they're real? Looks like they're made out of paper. Paper plates. Is that all you got? Well, no need to worry because maybe Intellipedia won't give you the goods, but uh, the truth really is out there. CIA releases thousands of declassified X-Files on aliens, flying saucers, and other explained phenomena. Okay, a couple more. Entry on MK Ultra. MK Ultra is really no secret. Back in the 50s and 60s, right up at the Royal Victoria Hospital, they were doing MK Ultra experiments right here in Montreal where I live, using LSD, hypnosis, all kinds of drugs. It's far from being a secret. And it, you know, the entry they give you here on MK Ultra, it's really just the same thing that's on Wikipedia, the regular Wikipedia. If you want to know more detail about MK Ultra, I would recommend that you read Anne Diamond's book, My Cold War. And then you will know a lot about MK Ultra. Artificial intelligence. Uh, there's an entry here. They did send Mr. Greenwald something, but it's pretty much what's already on Wikipedia. So, you know, he's, he's making a good effort uh, to put something out there. Well, what's cool about this is that even though the government isn't really giving Mr. Greenwald a, a whole ton of information that we haven't really heard, he's able to put all these topics on one page. I mean, if, you, if, you're, if you're wondering about, like, what kind of conspiracies there are out there or weird secret programs or stuff going on, uh, this is a good place to start because there's a whole list of them here. And if you want more information, there's tons of it out there on the internet. Lots of things have been leaked. So, in summary, I didn't find anything on here that was new in terms of uh, the actual information, but it's still, it's a, it's a cool site if you're looking for, you know, topics to check out. So that's it. Thank you for listening to me. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.